Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up, because it really does help me out. Today, I want to talk about the aftermath of a psychotic episode. Now, before we get started, yes, this is inspired by Alana's video that she did on the aftermath of psychosis and mania. I'll link it on the iCard up there and in the description down below. Make sure you go check out Alana's channel. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So first things first is what is a psychotic episode? Let me read the definition of a psychotic episode. During an episode of psychosis, a person's thoughts and perceptions are disrupted and they may have the ability of recognising what's real and what's not. So a psychotic episode has three key elements. Hallucinations, delusions, paranoia. Now, this is something I experienced because I have schizoaffective disorder, if you didn't know. If you don't know what schizoaffective disorder, I've made a ton of videos on that. I'll link the playlist on the iCard and again in the description down below, make sure you check it out. I posted a video recently talking about what psychosis is. I'll link that on the iCard up there. But all in all, it's a complicated part of mental illness. A person with psychosis has difficulty seeing what's real and what's not. And when you've been in that state for so long, it's really hard to get back in touch with reality. So where was I before my camera died? Basically I was talking about how psychosis is a scary thing. Because when you're experiencing delusions, you don't know they're delusions. You can't tell. And you genuinely believe them. And it can end up in really serious situations. The aftermath. So you've been through manic or so you've been through a psychotic episode. What now? So this varies depending on who you are. If you went into hospital with your psychotic episode and had meds changed or increased or added, then well you kind of set put in a position where you, you then have to fend for yourself. And yeah, it just if you stayed in the community and you just recovered from it with, without any intervention, there's that. Then there is if you had input from a community mental health team or whatever your mental health team is called in your country. Um, honestly, a lot of the time when you have a psychotic episode, and it's the case for me, is you have you have a lot of when you have a community team, a lot of the time. When you have a psychotic episode, a lot of the time you have med changes or increases and tried a new medication, stopped medications, you know, just the general medication changes that happen. And in doing this, this is how you recover from a psychotic episode. Now, the aftermath. You have to make amends with people that you might have said stuff to. You have to get your life back on track. You have to start taking care of yourself. You just have to start living. To be perfectly honest, the aftermath of a psychotic episode is quite complicated because you have to make amends with people because You might have said stuff that upset other people, you could have acted in a way that upset people. The next thing you have to do is really recognise that what you just experienced isn't normal. You also have to deal with the medication side effects. I don't know anyone that had a psychotic episode that didn't need medication to manage it. Now I've only been diagnosed with psychotic disorder since July. I, before that I was diagnosed bipolar type 1 
So, I do know a bit about psychosis. Honestly, it's just a case of working out what to do next. Use it as a life-changing event. Honestly, there's not much advice I can give about the aftermath of the psychotic episode. I think you just have to learn from it and tr try and make a list of things to recognise that, that show you're going into a psychotic episode so you can try and identify it before it gets too bad next time. Because there can and there might be a chance of you relapsing and having another psychotic episode. For me, I've had six psychotic episodes in my life and all of which have landed me in hospital. But yeah, I want to say this now. There is always hope for you, even after going through something like a psychotic episode or a manic episode. And like I said at the beginning of the video, my, friend, my best friend Alana made a video on the aftermath of psychosis and mania which again is linked in the description down below and it was on the i-card at the beginning of the video um, honestly the thing I'll say to you is try your best because you don't know what you're capable of and with that I'm going to end the video here so yeah if you didn't know I have a Patreon, it would mean the world that you could become a Patreon. It's three dollars and it really would mean the world to me. So go check it out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.